Hey guys, MabyR20 back again. Didn't even realize I was live. What's going on, Obi Roger? What's going on? Welcome. Thank you for being first, as always. Um, can't stop dancing to this music. I love it. I love it. Wait, but Nintendo said exactly Perry the Gaming Keypad. If you guys don't know Nintendo, what's up? Chandler, McDonald, how's it going, guys? What's going on? We are going to play some Super NES Classic Edition. What's going on, Ugly Kid number one? What's up, Chandler? Yes, Perry the Gaming Keypad, I do understand Nintendo did say um, about the live stream, but I'm not part of the Nintendo uh, Creator Program, so it's all good. All good to go. We just can't profit from it, so that's okay. We're here to play some games. We're not here to make money. We're here to play some games anyways. Isn't that what this is all about? Is the games. All right, so um, obviously what I want to do... How's the game audio, guys? Is the game audio sound good? Um, do I need to turn it up? Before I get started, I want to make sure the audio is okay for you guys. How's the audio? What's up, Warfare? Welcome to stream, bud. What's up, Mohammed? What's up, Nobi Roger? Game audio all good? Super Mario Kart first, please. Well, here's the thing. It's good. Okay, it's good. Okay, so not too loud. Okay, so I want to play Star Fox 2 because it's a game that's never been um, released. Could be a bit better. It's still good, though. So, you want the game volume louder? I can make it louder. I can make it go a little bit louder. Before we get started, what's up, Skills? Is the mic uh, lo too loud or is the game not loud enough? No, it's good. Okay, you said it, it could be better, so... I didn't know what you meant by a bit better. Okay, let me turn it up. I right, turned it up a little bit. I can turn it up more if you need to, but... You love the background music. Yeah, me too. Me too. Let's go ahead and play Star Fox 2. Oh, crap. We got to clear stage 1 in, in Star Fox to unlock this. I forgot all about it. What's going on, Nintendo Kate Gaming? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Yes, we are playing some Super NES Classic Edition. You have the, you still have the original console. Awesome, man. Awesome. So, um, I forgot that we have to actually unlock Star Fox by uh, beating Star Fox. I forgot about that. Let's go ahead and just do that now. Screw it. Old school time. I'm excited. Alright, this is bringing some back some memories right here, man. Yeah, man. Thank you. My wife got it for me. Um, my wife and daughter stood in line at Walmart and um, for like seven hours just to get this for me. I was uh, surprised. Very thankful. Very thankful. Alright, I'm getting like chills right now. I haven't played Star Fox in like oh, so long I can't even remember. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Too long. You wish my online order for SNES is not coming. Oh, it's not coming until next week. All right, let's just test out the controls here. It's been a while. All right, so that's the blaster. All right, that boost. It's been a long time since I played. I got to get used to it. That's break. The bomb. All right, I think we're good to go. I think we're good. Do a barrel roll. All right, let's see. Go ahead and just start. We want the game. I kind of like that you have to unlock Star Fox 2. It kind of forces you to play the original. I um, kind of like it. Bye. Oh my goodness. This is... Man, this is... It's been a long time, guys. It's been a long time. I know I'm just sitting here playing Super Nintendo Star Fox here, but... Get chills. All ships check in. Ready, Fox? All 
Uh, it's been a long time since I played. Got to get the controls going here. I did not practice. This is my first time playing um, the SNES Classic Edition on stream here, guys. I tell you what, since it's HD, you can really tell like how bad the graphics are. It's kind of funny. Like it's really pixelated. I kind of like it, though. Hey, that was mine. Well, sorry, Peppy. Yeah, Nintendo Cade. If you guys have not checked out Nintendo Cade, he comes, he comes in on my streams every once in a while. A really cool guy. Awesome channel. Got an amazing collection. Highly recommend if you've never checked out Nintendo Cade Gaming. Him and Evelyn, they're, 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 they're amazing. So check out their channel. Highly recommended. Oh, crap. Oh no, we didn't make it. We did not make it. Okay. You're welcome, Peppy. Anytime, anytime. Oh, what's up, David? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, it's definitely cute. It's small. I love it. The controllers feel just like the regular SNES, but the finish that they use is a little bit sandpapery. It's not like that smooth finish. Kind of disappointing, but it's still great nonetheless. So I think if we just beat this guy, we can actually um, unlock Star Fox 2, right? Alright. She's a bomb. Oh, what a waste. Oh, no, we got it, we got it. Oh, missed him. Got it, so we should have unlocked Star Fox 2 with that. Okay, sweet, thank you, Nintendo Cade. What's up, Just Dance Lover, welcome to the stream. No skills. If I was part of the Nintendo Creator Program, um, you can unregister your account. Um, I I was never part of it. I just um would singly. You can like single um you can register single videos. That's what I do. So if I upload a video that has a lot of Nintendo content in it, I'll uh, submit that video. But I did not submit my whole channel. I think it's kind of foolish to submit a whole channel um to that program because then you're really restricted. All right, Bright Gamer, thanks for coming by. So I think we can go ahead and let's go ahead and go back. Hopefully we can go ahead and play Star Fox 2 now. Yes, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, cool, Nintendo Cade. Yeah, that's what I do too. Like my channel's not part of the program, but I do submit single videos every once in a while. Like, and you only have to submit videos that have like a lot of like Nintendo music or like a lot of gameplay of Nintendo. You know, so like my regular eShop videos and stuff like that, I don't submit those to Nintendo because even though I use like some gameplay trailers, it's up in the right hand corner and I mute the audio. So those are good to go. Try the effects. What do you mean try the effects? Oh, okay. Hold up. Let's go display. So what display do you guys want to see? There's different displays. Like that's kind of neat. Yeah, since we're playing Star Fox, let's have like a space theme. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that. Yeah, I see what you mean. Okay, I'm kind of digging the space theme. Since we're doing Star Fox, it only seems right to do the space theme. What is this thing above the chat that says watch on YouTube gaming, then sponsor next to it? Um, sponsor is if you click on that, um, you can 
pay $4.99 a month. It's like $5 a month. It's a way to support your uh, favorite YouTubers. I don't really promote it, but if you do click on that, that is an option to like, you know, if you want to pay monthly. To, it's kind of like um, on Twitch, when you subscribe on Twitch, how you can pay like a monthly payment. Same thing. YouTube is basically trying to be like Twitch, let's be honest here. They're doing pretty good though. I, I, I like YouTube gaming. I think it works pretty good. I think it works pretty good. So here we are. Go ahead and uh, adjust this real quick. So I'm digging the title screen so far. I'm digging the title screen. Mission record. Um, I think we're just going to go for mission. Ooh, normal, hard, and... All right, let's just go to normal. I've never played this before, so... Matter of fact, nobody's played this before. I have returned. I shall make the... Oh, I didn't read it all. I shall fear my vengeance. I will demonstrate my awesome power. All right. Let's see what you got, man. You, you read me. I have terrible news. Our sworn enemy, the, the fiend Andros, is alive. Even as we speak, he is launching an assault on Corneria. Where is the... Where is the tip jar? Dennis, it should be on the bottom left of the screen. It's kind of blended in with... Uh, it's blended in with, uh, <laughs> with the game. The battle carriers and attack forces of Andros. And now advancing on Corneria. Enemy bases, okay. So this is a lot different than... Uh, we fired from these enemy bases, all right. Once again, we must ask you for assistance, Star Fox. Of course. Corneria will survive if it sustains minor damage, but if damage reaches 100%, it is all over. Gauge the forces. Uh, what's lies? Pure lies. I'm trying to figure out what uh, <laughs> no B Roger means. Damage the area. Sorry, it's it's hard to it's hard to focus. You almost need two people. Someone to read the comments to me why I play. Kind of hard to read and play at the same time. All right, so oh, I can choose who I want. Wow, I did not I did not know that. Hmm. Okay. We're obviously let's just choose Fox. It was it was completed back in the nineties, but was never released. The beta version was leaked before the project was completely scrapped. Yep, that's that's exactly what happened. Thank you, Nintendo Cade. Yeah guys, this was never released to the public till now. Like like Nintendo Cade said, it's been leaked. And uh, an interesting thing is, since it's at the ROM, you know, since it's actually on the SNES Classic Edition now, there's already people that are hacking the SNES Classic Edition and putting it out on the internet. I'm sure, you know, Nintendo doesn't like it, but you can pretty much download this ROM now. <laughs> you know, you can pretty much download this ROM and uh, on your computer now and play it, um, the actual version, because people are actually getting the, the code or the, the ROM from the SNES Classic and putting it on the internet. It was only a matter of time. By the way, you're getting a new PC soon. Cool, man. Cool. You might start live streams. Awesome, man. Awesome. Switch positions with your wing. Quest select. Turn the mothership to warp any free planet. Alrighty. So, do we just go ahead and click on like a planet here? Must it? Okay. Am I the only one that's like, this is our satellite defense. It protects the area. How do you start the game? Mothership? You don't do YouTube that much. All right, all right, all right. You need at least 1,000 subs to live stream. Really? I don't think so. No, you only need 100. Because my cousin can live stream and he has just over 100. So you only need 100 to live stream. Alright, so I don't even know how to start this. I don't, like, how the heck do you start the game? I, I was like, uh... Nintendo Kate, I don't know if you're still watching, but help me out here, buddy. 
Like, what the heck? Oh, there we go. Did they change that? Oh, 100, that was a typo. Yeah, it's 100. Because I live stream. Um, you would have to select places to go on the map with a cursor. Yeah, I saw that. I guess I was pushing the wrong... Um, the wrong button, I guess. Okay. Wait a minute. Did I not, like... Alright, maybe this is what we gotta do? Just trying to start some gameplay here. The goal is Prekner with incoming attack and this is okay. This is definitely holy crap, this is way way different. Oh, okay, I'm I'm pressing the wrong button. So they changed the button layout for uh for this game. That's that's interesting. Hey, man. This is different, guys. I tell you what, this is like weird. I'll be honest, I can kind of see why this game never was released. I'm not saying it's horrible. This is definitely kind of dated um, for um, Super Nintendo. I think the original Star Fox played better than this, honestly. Enemy out of range. Okay, so I, I guess I messed up. I don't know. Interesting. This game is definitely different. It's got like a map system where you have to like fly to different areas, I guess. So, this is weird. Leano the Star Fox room. Out here. Right. We have been hit. Oh, I forgot I can like charge my attacks here. Hold up, hold up. Hold the phones here. Coming for you, coming for you, buddy. Yeah, I understand that. I understand that, Fox. I hate being like in this uh, first person view. There we go. God, I suck. In other news, I don't know if you guys heard, but 8-Bit Do is coming out with a wireless SNES Classic Edition controller, which is always awesome. So, looks like looks like we cleared it, I'm assuming. So, I'll be honest, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm playing this just because I never got to play um, Star Fox 2. Not a big fan of it, honestly. It doesn't seem like it's that fun to me, honestly. It's it's cool that we get to play it, uh, a game that was never released. Oh, you guys are talking about... Uh, oh, enabling Super Chat. I think you need a 1,000 subscribers for Super Chat. 
Yeah. Yeah, you need a thousand subscribers for uh for super chat. You only need a hundred subscribers. Um uh No, I think anyone can live stream. Because my buddy uh live streams without a hundred um subscribers. What's up, Gabby Porter? Welcome to the stream, buddy. You never use monetization. No need to to charge uh, charge your house. Guys, I'll be honest, not a fan. What do you guys think of Star Fox 2? Like what do you guys, I think it, it like, I don't know, it's, it's, I'm going to play a couple more, um, sessions here. Oh, it picks up as we go on? Okay. Let's, okay, this is different. This looks like a Gyarados. Look at this guy. This looks like a Gyarados, like, in the Star Fox universe. Look at this thing. It's like a, it's like a flying Gyarados. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> I'm getting lit. Got him. Got him. Eat that. What's up, skills? Uh, it sure be a, a hundred a long time they change that. Sorry, guys, if I'm missing some of your uh, comments. Van Buren, where is the skinny guy that who never eats? I think you're talking about my cousin Joe. People call him Grampy Joe. Um, he uh, <laughs> he's known as Joe What on YouTube. He's not here with me right now. It always is fun to have him on my live streams. If you guys don't know, we just went to Melt and he did like this food challenge that was kind of funny. We vlogged it. Completely different from normal videos I put up on here, but I figured put up something funny, a little different. Am I supposed to get those or, or shoot them? All right, let's do this. Let's do this here. There we go. That was a direct hit. Oh, they're for recharging your shields. Okay, thank you, Nintendo Cade. I had no idea. Oh, crap. This is, uh... All right, it's getting a little bit better. You're right. It's kind of picking up a little bit. Oh, press select to transform. Oh, heck yeah. Man, this game feels like... This game is... This game is definitely different. Oh, crap. It will be better if we, uh... Turn around, stupid thing. There we go. There we go. Man, camera angles are a little bit different on this. Use L and R to rotate the camera while in the ground. Oh, okay. 
Okay, thank you guys. You guys are teaching me. You get thank you for that. So I did not know you could use L and R to control the camera angle. Thank you for that. Had no clue. No clue. All right, let's go to this uh, planet here. There's so much stuff going on the map. Switch entrance. All right, what do you mean? Oh, switch camera angles. Okay, there we go. I see what you mean. Press L and R to spin. And it's spin. All right, we're going to have to go ahead and get into the flight. That's how you jump. Oh, we got to stand on it. Okay. Hold on, wait. What are we supposed to do here? Hold up. Find a switch. All right, right here's a switch. I see that, I see that, thank you. I feel like such a noob. I feel like such a noob. We can go in here, it looks like. What's up Chandler McDonald, welcome to the stream buddy. Yeah, I, I see that, Randy. I see that. We're going for it. Oh, crap. I was watching the stream, and I almost, uh... hit me what's hit me here crap okay, it's not letting me go in there so all right so this sucks Oh, there it is. I didn't even see this guy. He was out of nowhere. All right, we're going to have to cut him off this way. Wait for him right here. We'll just wait for him right here. There we go. Special weapon. All right, all right. We're, we're back at it. We're back at it. Thank <laughs> you. 
I noticed the frame rates are pretty bad in this game. I mean, what do you expect? It's kind of like a game that we were never supposed to play. The frame rates, I've noticed, drop. No, it's not my stream, guys. If you're noticing some frame rate drops, that's actually what I'm playing. That's what the game looks like. I've noticed some severe frame rate, uh, frame, frame rate dropping in this game. <laughs> yeah, it's the limit. So you guys want me to continue playing this, or do you guys want to check out some other uh, games on the on the system here? I'll leave it up to you guys. It don't matter to me either way. What do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see more um, Star Fox 2 gameplay, or would you guys like to see what's on the main menu and play something else? Other games? All right, we can play some other games. All right, everyone wants to see other games. Let's go ahead and go to other games. Oh, and if you guys don't know... Um, we are spoiled by modern day gaming. The original Star Fox had that frame rate as well. Yeah, I know. I know Nintendo Gate. We're so we're so good. Like we're so used to smooth frame rates now. But um, here's the thing. If you guys did not know, what what kind of stinks about the SNES Classic Edition is you have to push the reset button. So you have to get out of your chair, push the reset button to actually go back to the main menu. But if you go ahead um and use a, a simple classic controller um like the for the wii if you guys remember let me get my camera here so you can see right there i got like a controller that you can plug into the wii but you can actually plug that into the snes controller and it has a home button on it you need to actually push the home button and go back to the main menu without getting out of your seat sounds lazy but when you're streaming you know yeah that's what i'm saying uh david if you have a classic controller you can push the home button so i don't know why they don't add a home button feature on the actual controller itself but who knows? Or have an option where you push start and on the main menu, you can like just go back to the main menu. But what game would you guys like to see? Somebody said Super Mario Kart. Um, I'll leave it up to you guys. What do you guys want to see? Here's the games we got. We got Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. We got Yoshi's Island, Contra 3, The Alien Wars, Donkey Kong Country, Earthbound, F-Zero. Believe it or not, I've never played Earthbound at all. Play Mario World. I am unable to get one. I will have to skip out. Okay, they want it to uh, look like the original SNES. Yeah, I understand, I understand. F-Zero. Yeah, but what they could have done, David, is they could have, by pressing start, there could have been an option, you know, in the pause menu to go back to the home menu. That's what I think they should have did. You know, they, you should have been able to press start and then, like, go back to the home menu. I don't know. They, that, that should have been an option. But, nonetheless, it's still a great system. We got F-Zero, Final Fantasy III, Kirby Superstar, Kirby's Dream Course, Mega Man X, Secret of Mana, and then Star Fox, Star Fox 2. At any point, hold L and R and start to select at the same time. Yeah, that resets your game, but it doesn't take you back to um, the main menu. This is the main menu. I understand by holding L and R and start and select, you can reset the game, but that does not um, take you back to the home menu. You have to actually either get out of your seat, push the reset button, or you have to actually um, plug in a classic controller and push the home home button. Someone said Mario World. Is that what you guys want to see, Mario World? We can play Mario World. We can jump back and forth. I don't have to continue playing Mario World. I can just keep jumping from game to game. Oh, you know what we are going to do, though? To make this look a little bit better, let's go ahead and change the display. I want to mess around with the display. Yeah, let's use that. Now let's jump right back in. Alright, so this looks a little bit cooler. Been a while since I played Mario World. See if I still got it. Been a while. Believe it or not, I used to speed run this game um <laughs> long time ago. It's been a long time though. Like I don't even know if I remember. Like it's been a long time. I don't even know if I remember how to safely navigate through um Star Road. Because you can like skip right to the end of the game if you navigate through Star Road. It's been a long time since I played this. If you guys are interested in seeing me speedrun Super Mario World in a later stream, let me know. I can definitely do that. I just gotta practice. Learn all the routes again. But, um... 
me read some of these comments. Play Super Metroid next. Yeah, they said they didn't add that feature as there was no room for a, a game button. Um, well, here's the thing. What I'm saying is if you push the start button, like I just pushed the start button, right? I paused the game. They should have had it where you push start, it pauses the game, and there's an the option, return to home menu. That, that's what I'm saying. Van Buren, it's been days. Where have you been? I can't take this. What's up, Puppet Master? Welcome to the stream. Oh, we just left Yoshi there. Eat him, Yoshi. I know you're hungry. Always hungry. Um, I've been uploading videos on a regular basis, Puppet Master. Um, so that's what I've been doing. And I've been working, obviously, my, you know, full-time job. I do not do this full-time, even though it seems like that. I've been posting a lot of videos lately. There's been a lot of videos to, to post about, so. Let's get the top. Boom, there it is. Anyway, Van Beer 20, you got to go. It was fun watching you play the SNES Classic. Catch you again. All right, man, thank you. Thank you, Nintendo Gate Gaming. Again, if anyone's never checked out Nintendo Cade, check him out. He's a great guy. Danny and Evelyn run that channel over there. They're really great people. Good channel to watch. Let's go over here. We got that. We got that switch over here. Oh, thank you, Nintendo Cade. Thank you for the kind comment. Oh no, Yoshi, get back here. No need to be scared. No. Really? And uh, the question block just dis. Oh, I came back. There it is. Give me my fire flower. I think I still remember a little bit of control because my dad had the original SNES. Okay, cool. Really? You gotta... I didn't think you had to, like, get rid of both of them. Nintendo announced that Wii Shop closes it. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I saw that. I thought about making a video about it, but people pretty much already know. Um, yeah, if you guys didn't know, the Wii Shop channel is going to be closing, um, really, really soon. Um, actually, no, in about a year, right? A little over a year. So, you got some time. If there's a game that you want to download on the... Oh, crap. On the Wii Shop channel, you're going to want to do that within the next year or so. Right, I'm doing that so I don't kill this, uh, right here. Now let's go back for Yoshi. Gotcha, Yoshi. You still have the N64. Oh, great gameplay. Thank you, Ugly Kid number one. Then the Wii shall be officially dead. Yeah, it's it's really sad. From if you guys know, I used to do eShop update videos on the Wii. That's where it first started. Um. You know, the Wii Virtual Console was awesome. They have a lot of great games there. There's still games that you can download on the Wii Virtual Console that you can't download anywhere else. So, it's going to be sad to see it go. It really is. All right, now we got the Switch up here. The Wii is so easily hacked. Yeah, well, anything is eventually. Um, the Switch is going strong, though. I don't think they really hacked the Switch. I mean, they found a way to, you know, get it up, you know, go on the internet browser on it. But that's not really hacking it. That's just kind of like... But as far as I know, there's no, like, homebrew or anything like that for the Switch. Um, yet, anyways. Do you think Nintendo will remake any N64 games on the Nintendo Switch? Um... I don't know. We'll see. The Virtual Console um, hasn't really been announced yet. Like, they said it's going to come, but no information has been given. So, we're going to have to wait and see. Hopefully, hopefully it happens soon. The N64 Classic has been confirmed. Are you sure about that, Randy? I don't think so. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong. Is Randy correct? Is there a N64 Classic coming? I mean, I hope so, because I have the NES and the SNES. It is. All right, as soon as this stream is over, I'm going to have to get on the internet and uh, check it out. No, Ugly Kid number one says no. Yeah, I had no clue. I had no clue. I mean, 
I hope they do. I mean, it only makes sense. But, I mean, where does it end, though? Like, are they going to do, like, a GameCube classic? Like, where, where does it end? Are they going to do, like, a Wii classic? Like, oh, crap. Sorry, Yoshi, we just killed you. It was either you or me, buddy. One of us had to go, and it was you, buddy. I think we're going to get them back again over here, though, somewhere. Um, the internet browser is patched. Oh, okay, so they can't do that no more. Um, unless you use one program. Can you play Mario Kart? Yeah, we'll play that next. But it'll probably be, like, 2019. Well, I hope it happens. What, that's, what I'm saying, though, is, like, after they have, uh, the N64 Classic, are they gonna have, like, a GameCube Classic? Like, when does it, you know, where does it end? Like, you know what I mean? Oh, we can just walk right down here. I forgot all about that. Believe it or not, though, a lot of people don't know this, but the Nintendo 64 is my favorite old-school game system of all time. Out of all the systems I've ever owned, that is the one system that I had almost every game for. I had almost a complete collection. All those games are... I was so stupid. I sold so much, so many things as I got older. I wish I wouldn't have sold anything. So it looks like you guys want me to play Super Mario Kart. Why have I not seen a, uh, why you have not seen a Retron with a CD drive? I have seen an N64 that has that attachment on the bottom. Is that what you're talking about? Let's go ahead and go to the main menu. Someone wants to see Super Mario Kart, and I'll be honest, it's been a long time since I played Super Mario Kart. But here's the thing, do you have to, oh, okay, so is that how you save? Okay, so you can save them right there. Okay, that's interesting. So let's go back. Okay, so I saved it. Okay, cool. All right, I heard you can like rewind and go back too. And like, if you make a mistake, you can re rewind your gameplay. Yeah, the N64 DD, that's it, David, that's it. I didn't get um, either, uh, you didn't get the Nintendo Classic Edition because my dad has complete collections of both. Well, a lot of people do, but it's still really cool to have. A lot of people didn't get them because of the short. It was only released in Japan, but not many games released for it. Um, you can make save states. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, I knew that. But you can actually rewind them, too. Like, you can, like, re there's, like, a rewind feature, I guess. I haven't really messed with it yet. Wait, do you oh, okay, I was just talking about the skills. Um, in order to go back to the home menu while you're playing a game... Um, you either got to get out of your chair, which stinks, and push the reset button on the SNES Classic Edition. But if you have like a um, like a Wii Pro controller or a Wii Classic controller, that's what it's called. It looks like this. I got a black cover on it, so I mean, I don't know. If you got like a a Wii Classic controller, you can plug it in. There's a home button on it, and it takes you right to the main menu. Here, I'll show you right now. Boom! Push the home button, and we're back to the main menu. So there you go. Really simple. Let's party, Van Buren. What's up, man? Is Mario RPG game any good? Believe it or not, I, I, I've only played a little bit of that back in the day. As you guys know, I'm not a huge fan of RPGs, but we definitely will play Mario RPG if you want me to. Let's play some Super Mario Kart. See what this game is like first. Obviously, I know what it's like. It's been a long time since I played it. All right, it's been a long time since I've played this. I always used Yoshi. I thought Yoshi had better handling back in the day. Which do I like better, the classic controller uh, or or Pro? Looks like the. Um, I like the class. Uh, I like the Nintendo classic controller, um, the Pro controller or whatever. You will get a Switch instead. Good choice. Good choice. All right, let's go ahead. and... Is it just A for gas and B for break? No, uh, B, B is the gas. Okay. Wow. This is way... Like, I do not remember this being, like... This is... Holy crap. The controls are so, like... Gotcha, Peach.
The A button fires your weapons. All right. I got it in 100 CC, so. Oh my goodness. Drifting is so hard in this. Oh, I thought I would have hit her with that. All right, come on, come on. We're getting there, we're getting there. Wow, the controls are so... All right, so second place, not horrible. Wow, crazy. Don't forget to boost at the beginning of each race. Yeah, I understand. I understand. I tell you what, man, this game has aged. This game has aged. <laughs> Do I have Super Mario Odyssey and a Nintendo Switch? I have the Nintendo Switch. Super Mario Odyssey is not out yet, um, but I will definitely be getting that. So I will be streaming that probably day one, so you guys can see my reactions to it. It was never very good, really, but I'll tell you what, though. When this game came, back out, came out back in the day, it was a lot of fun. This game was a lot of fun. Comparing Super Mario Kart and Super Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, there's big differences. Well, no, no kidding. Okay, I missed the boost, so the boost must be a little different. We're going to try to take first place this time. Oh, direct hit. Direct hit. We were doing so well. Man, they really make you wipe out when you hit a banana. Oh, yeah, we need coins. I wonder why they didn't add that in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Like, if you have no coins, if you run into somebody, um, I wonder why they should have made it to where you wipe out. It would have made coins mean a lot more. Some slippery controls, buddy. I'll tell you that much right now. Reminds me of Mario Kart now. Mario Kart 8 getting nothing but... Oh, my bad. I don't know what happened. I just lost control. I am really sucking hard. I'll tell you what, though. This is making me want to remaster this game. Oh, yeah. I forgot how the, the computer cheats in this game. They can jump over items, but you can't. Like, it seems like they always have a feather to where they can always jump over items. Oh. There we go. I'm getting a Switch at 7 games and Pro Controllers. Are you getting the Amiibos for Super Mario Odyssey? I don't know yet. I don't know. Like you said in your VC review of Original Mario Kart, it did not age well. Oh my gosh, it's been a long time since I've, uh, I forgot I even made that video, David. It's been a long time. Um, <laughs> that's crazy. It's been a long time since I've, uh, uh, <laughs> I didn't even know I made that video. I've been on YouTube for a long time. I don't even know what games I've reviewed over the years. They should really have included Stunt Race. Wonder how many times I'm going to fall off the track. All right, let's just try to get in the lead and stay in the lead. All right, so we got a mushroom. Do we dare attempt a shortcut? Let's try it. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you need a feather for that. I thought there was a ramp there. Okay, I'm an idiot. I forgot you need a feather for that shortcut. And we have a feather, so we will try it next, next lap here. Got it. Wow, that put us right back up front.
crap. I'm focused. All right, final lap. Final lap. Let's let's go. Let's do this. They're really on my case right now. Man, how many things are they going to throw? There we go. First place. We got it. It's the N64 Mini GoldenEye 2007. Oh, Oh, yeah, GoldenEye 007, unlikely. Yeah, you're probably right. They yeah, have infinite items and can avoid most hazards. I know, it's so cheap. It's so cheap. This Mario Kart was brutal. I remember being so mad as a kid. Being so mad. Like, they can jump over any item, and they have unlimited... Like, did you see that? He kept throwing shell after shell at me. Thank you, thank you, uh, Noby Roger. What's up, Dean? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Am I going to get Lenore on the Switch? I've played it on the PS3. It's actually pretty decent. Um, It's a possibility. I don't know. I agree. I hope it has it too, but there might be some licensing issues. Because if you guys don't know, GoldenEye 007 ended up on uh, Microsoft. So I don't know what happened there. How did I miss that boost? Drifting is almost like... Like, you can drift, but it's hard. There we go. Oh, no, we got cocky. We got cocky. We tried drifting. We got to put that behind me. Oh, I lost control big time. Hey, where'd my mushroom go? I used it, but it kind of just disappeared. That's... That's... Ah, uh, no. We're falling apart on the final lap. Koopa Troopa just got... Oh, we're getting ready to lap Luigi. Another thing, they always get a star. I've noticed in this game, Luigi always has a star. Watch, he's going to end up having a star. I guarantee it. Okay, he, he was going slow. Now he's like, that's so weird. But well, there we go. We lapped Luigi and we took first place. For the kids, they don't know Perfect Dark was at the time. If Nintendo, okay. Um, which is highly... Yeah, it's all the time. All right, guys. It's hard to keep up with all the comments, man. Almost need two people to play. I'm definitely getting all your comments, guys. Keep them coming. Do I think Super Mario Odyssey is going to be better than The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? Well, here's the thing. Here's the... <laughs> here's the thing, guys. You guys know I'm a huge Mario fan. So, obviously, I'm hoping it's a little bit better than Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm not going to lie. I'm hoping it's a little bit better. Um, I'm a big Mario fan. Um, when it was released, I was more excited for um, Mario Odyssey than Breath of the Wild. So, we'll see. Oh, I thought it was over. I thought that was the last... Oh, this is the last race. Well, after this, we'll play something else. So, guys, give me some recommendations on what game you guys want me to play. This will be my final race, and then we'll move on to another game.
That was a good drift there. Starting to come back to me. And then I hit the... Did you guys see that? He jumped over my red shell. Did you guys see that? Oh my gosh. What the heck? He's like murdering me right now. Did you guys see that? That is so cheap. Wow, dude. Could you imagine if that was like a play mechanic in like Mario Kart 8? If they could just jump over your red shells? Like, that's crazy. Wow. The computers in this game are cheap. That's nuts. I can't get over that. I hit him. I got him. Watch, he'll be right up on me in no time. Guarantee it. Final lap. In this episode of How Will Van Buren 20 Get Screwed Over in Mario Kart, join me. We'll wait and see. Good drifting. We're doing good. He was right behind me. He was right behind me. Did you guys see that? Wow. The A, you are definitely right. The rubber banding effect is crazy in this game. Wow. Wow. You didn't see it? It's nuts. It's nuts. It's nuts. Well, we got first place. Oh, I remember this. This is old school stuff here, buddy. What's up, Leon? Did I miss a subscription? I, I was too busy uh, playing. If somebody subscribed, thanks for subscribing. I, I think I missed a subscription or something. So that was fun. So what else do you guys want to see me play? Um, we did Mario. We did Super Mario Kart. We did Star Fox and Star Fox 2. What else we got? Oh, we definitely want to save that, though. Oh, did we not save it? Hold up. Hold on. That kind of stinks if we did not save, save that. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's the other one. Oh, well, it is what it is. We only played one cup. So... Duly noted, if you guys do want to save a game, you want to want to go here and save it right away. Because as you can see, it's it's actually gone now. So that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Um, yes, it is. Super Mario, Super Mario RPG. Yoshi's Island. Okay, so what, we got two votes for Super Mario RPG. And um, we've got Yoshi's Island. So, hmm. I probably would rather play Yoshi's Island, but... We got two people that want to... We got three people. Okay. We got to play Mario RPG. I'm not a fan of RPGs, but let's play. Not a fan. Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, that's a great one. Everyone's got so many different ones. We'll play Super Mario RPG for, for a little bit here. Man, look at these outdated graphics. Don't you love it? Don't you just love it? You love Yoshi's Island. They play that as a kid. Yeah, that's a fun game. If you need help, Sean, just holla. Alright, well, here we are. We're getting ready to play right now. This is actually... I did play this one other time. But, um... All right, let's type in my name here. Give it a chance. Let's give Super Mario RPG a chance. You guys know how I feel about RPGs. They're boring to me. Let's give it a chance, though. Wait a minute here. I want all lowercase. I was wondering, it didn't look right.
I'm loving the music, though. Oh, I can't put the 2-0, huh? No, you can't. Okay. Well, Van Buren it is. Or Kirby's Dream Course next. Who keeps suggesting RPGs they take too long? I have never played. But we're only going to play a little bit. Um, it's not like we're going to play a full playthrough. We're just going to play a little bit. Like, you know, five minutes or so. Play a little bit of it. We're just testing out the games right now. This name is taking too long. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Looks like the chat's a little delayed. Or you're not live. Either way. Best RPG was you was uh, Shenmue? Alright, so here we go. Digging the music. Okay, that's how you jump. Can I jump on these can I jump on these guys? Oh, okay, so now I have to fight these guys. Defense. That's X item. I have no items. I'm unarmed. Jump. See, this is what I hate about RPGs. Um, like, this is what I don't like about RPGs. Um, is like, right here is a perfect example about RPGs. Like, um, you can't just jump on these guys. You gotta like go in this like turn base. It's kind of boring to me. I'm just gonna try to. Oh, I couldn't avoid them. It's funny, though. It's like, I say jump, but he doesn't jump. You know? Like, I say jump, and he, like, attacks. Like, with a punch. It's kind of weird. Really weird. Oh, it was a critical hit. Punching in midair. I know, I know. Press A before a strike to do double damage. Alright. I'll try that next time. Oh, crap. He came after me again. Alright, let's try it again. Alright, I did 12. Okay, there we go. Ah, missed it that time. How do you block? You're not you're not blocking this game. There we go. That's perfect right there. Why would upload to YouTube, but you know Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think we got the double damage thing down. I'm timing it pretty good. Yeah, RPGs are like... You have to like... It's like a turn base. Like, you get into like a battle and like... It's like this big battle mechanic that's kind of like, it's really drawn out. And to me, it's really kind of, I don't know, it's a little boring to me. Some of the, some of the story is really fun in RPGs. And I'm not saying this isn't a great game, but as far as RPGs, um, I know I've talked about this in the past. Not a huge RPG fan. What's up, Jesse the Eva user? Welcome to the stream. Nice to have you here. You regret saying Mario RPG, it's boring. Well, we're we'll only going to play for a couple more minutes and we'll move on to something else. So, guys, uh, start recommending what you guys want to see. After this little fight here, maybe we'll uh, 
play something else. Bowser, Mario, prepare yourself for the great beyond. Mario the chain. Aim for the chain. Okay, how do I aim for the chain? Oh, they're right there. <laughs> I used jump on a chain. That's weird. I think I blocked that. I think if you push A at the perfect time, you can block. I think I just successfully blocked that. I'm not sure. Can Nintendo flag videos if they're private? Hold up. Let me plug in my computer before we die. I can see why nobody mentions this game. Well, this game's actually fun. I don't want you guys thinking this game's not fun. It's fun. It's definitely fun. It's just... um, It's, it's just... It's an RPG. RPGs are... You know, they might be fun when you're... I don't know. Some people really enjoy... I think I got the chain. What was that sound? Oh, it's starting to break. It's a chain reaction. Haha. -ha. There he goes. They even make fun of Power Rangers. <laughs> no, this game is... its it, Trust me, this game is fun. I just don't enjoy RPGs. Uh-oh, fight Mario. This should finish you. Oh, he's trying to break... Yep, he broke our chain. Here we go. Now we're probably going to have the real fight down here. No, um, Oscar, I would love to see a Mario Odyssey um, remaster. Trust me. I would love to see that. Super Mario Galaxy. I, that, that's, that's an awesome game. And just to see it in like HD... 1080p 60 frames per second on the Nintendo Switch would be awesome for me. I would be all for that. There's some really long cutscenes in this. Yeah, Mario Galaxy. I might have said Odyssey on accident um, earlier, but yeah, I meant Galaxy. They love their cutscenes. I see that. And this is pretty much the start of the game. That was kind of like a tutorial, basically. And this is where the game actually starts. So, do you guys want to see more of this, or do you want me to move on to another game? I will leave it up to you guys. Completely up to you. It is up to you guys. What would you guys like to see? More of this or something else? Move on. So Leon wants to see more. Oscar says move on. Skill says new game. So far we got two people wanting a new game. Yeah, Leon, we just we just played Mario RPG for a little bit. Move on to Yoshi's Island. You ask and you shall receive. We're definitely going to go ahead and save. So we don't have to go through that again. So remember, you go, you're going to want to do that every time you play a game. You're going to want to save it like that because it will disappear on you. So just looking at the game that you wasn't voting for. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, Puppet Master. We're going to move on to something else. Everyone else wants to see um, Yoshi's Island, I'm assuming. DK Country. Okay, we can play that next. I only play for like... 10 minutes or so. Wait, is the Super Ghouls and Ghosts? Yes, there is Super Ghouls and Ghosts on here. There's Super Metroid. A lot of great games. 
This is a story about Baby Mario and Yoshi. A story, uh, a story hurries across the dusky pre-dawn sky. How lovely. In his bill, he supports a pair of twins. I feel like I'm being read a bedtime story. Suddenly, a shadow appears in a gap between the clouds and races towards the stork with blinding speed. Screech! <laughs> the babies are mine! Wow. Snatching only one baby, the creature vanishes. How did I... <laughs> Into the darkness from whence it came. Alright, let's get on with the game here. Yep, super punch out. Super punch out. Yeah, there's 21 games. Um, after I'm done playing this for a little bit, I'll go through the, the games real quick so you can see. <laughs> the bond between the twins informs each other. This game is pretty cute. Welcome to Yoshi's Island. If Baby Mario falls off Yoshi's back, the countdown timer will begin. When it reaches zero, um, Kamex Toadies will kidnap Baby Bowser. The more stars you collect, the safer you are. The countdown timer will slowly count back up to ten. Complete a stage by passing Baby Mario to the next Yoshi. All right, so what's the controls here? All right, so that that's the tongue that jumps. All right, so we just lost baby. I, I did that on purpose. I want to see grab baby Mario, jump and use it. Okay, it's been a long time since I guess, since, I, since I've since uh... I've. All right, so you just pop them. All right. Can't you get eggs there, or is that a different game I'm thinking of? I thought you normally hit that and eggs pop out. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. This game was so in uh, innovative. You want to play that game. Yeah, my wife wants to play this game. That's my wife. Hovering jump by holding... Oh, okay. Oh, get back, baby. That baby cry sound made me hate this game. Really? It's so cute, though. Getting 100% is hard. Making eggs. Grab an enemy with Y, then push down to make an egg. Alrighty. Special flowers. Gather five for a one-up. They add to your point total. They also add flowers to the gold ring roulette. Okay, well, we... That failed. Well, there you go. When the baby's crying on a hard level, it's like you're counting down to doomsday. Hectic, crazy. I know that's what's fun about it, though. Throwing eggs. Press A once the aiming cursor will begin to move. Press A again. Yeah, I already know all this. I don't know why I'm reading it like I don't know. Thank you. 
You always wonder what Mario and Luigi's parents look like? Good question. Uh, Chomp Rock is a useful object. Push it and it will roll over, rolling over your enemies. If it gets stuck, stand. Alright, All right, that's where you get your eggs at right there. baby. Poor baby Mario. I can see how that could get annoying. I, I see what you guys mean. I need a stupid rock. Anyone looking forward to Sonic Forces? Um. Yeah, Sonic Mania, I'm still playing that every once in a while, so I, I guess I can kind of wait, honestly. Sonic Mania kind of gave me my fix for now. I saw something over here. Maybe not. Oh, no! We'll take care of him. Oh, crap! He got us again! No! Oh, man. We almost just, like, died. Nothing secret down here, or what? There's nothing down here? I thought there was like a secret down there. You're thinking about Red Lobster for dinner tonight? <laughs> Sounds good, man. not mean to get hit. We used to have this game uh, on our demo units. Imagine that crying sound for like 10 hours a day. <laughs> why are you watching this, Oscar? I have no idea. Because it's a classic. That's why. In each level, 20 red coins are hidden among the yellow ones. Um, they each add one point to your score. Alrighty. We found quite a bit. I don't know if we found all of them or not, but... go gold well that's pretty much it for this one i mean you guys want me to continue to play someone did say donkey kong country we can try that next if you want but uh this was really fun i can continue to play this unless you guys have another suggestion we can check out another game it's up to you guys oh that's cute like the uh green yoshi's waving DK Country. Okay, we can do that. We 
we'll go back to the home menu here. We're going to save that. DK Country 2 was so much better. I don't know. I really like the original, too, though. Let's go through the games, though. Um, someone was wondering what games are on here. We got Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, Yoshi's Island. We got Contra 3, Alien Wars, Donkey Kong Country, Earthbound, F-Zero, Final Fantasy 3, Kirby's Superstar, Kirby's Dream Cores, Mega Man X, Secret of Mana, Star Fox, Star Fox 2, Street Fighter 2, Turbo Hyper Fighting, Super Castlevania, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG, Super Mario World, Super Metroid, Super Punch-Out. There you go. That's all the games. You thought the newest DK games were pretty good. Yes. Really hard, honestly. There's Donkey Kong Country. Actually, let's try something else. Hold up. I want to try a different display. Why not? Let's use the, the different displays. What should we use? Let's try the... Yeah, let's just try that one, I guess. It's like an old school television. Am I still allowed to re-upload these? Yes, I just cannot make any money off. Um, I, I make no money off my live streams. So me doing this right now um, makes no money at all, at all. I do this just for you guys, and I do it for because I enjoy talking to you guys while I play a game. So, yeah, I just make no money off this. Heck yeah, Diddy Kong's where it's at. As he gets hit. I thought I could have just jumped up there. I want that extra life up there. Wait a minute. Maybe he'll come back. Maybe he'll come back. There's an extra life up there. Oh, whatever. Wow, Diddy Kong, really? Diddy Kong's my favorite, and I can't seem to keep him. I uh, should have went backwards on the start. Uh, how long have I been live streaming? I've been live streaming for one hour and 24 minutes. I think there is something here, too. Yep, I remember this. Got it. There's something over here. Oh well. If you go up there, there's something up top. A bunch of bananas, I think. DK2 had way many, many games to it. You guys gotta remember, this is the original. It's a classic. But yeah, I know I should have went backwards. Somebody mentioned that uh, I should have went backwards at the start of the game. Um, I forgot. Yeah, there's an extra guy in uh, in DK's room. Forgot all about it. There it is. Did I miss the... Oh, no. I was going to say. Where, did I miss the K? Not this time. 
I guess screw the bananas, I guess. Classic platforming right here. Gotta love it. Now, can, can Donkey Kong get the hidden things by... I guess not. Interesting. I got hit right as I went through. It's going to be interesting to see if, like, they, they say I got hit or not. Um, there's actually a lot of hidden lives in the first level. Most random crossover ever. More classic rare platformers. What does Cranky do for you? Does he, uh, does he save your game? I can't even remember. It's been a long time. Fancy running into you two way out here. A hey, leave. Okay. Yeah, I think you saved your game, right? Almost forgot about this. Candy saves your game, okay. Guys, it's been a long time since I played Don the original Donkey Kong. I'm glad I bought this. It's really kind of sparking back my love for old school games. Maybe I'll... I don't know. See, that's the problem, though. I don't know how many people like watching me play old games. I love playing old games, but I don't know how... Like, a lot of people want to see just, like, newer games. Because they want to see if, like, maybe they should buy them or not. Uh, what do you guys think? I mean, do you like watching old games, or...? Yes, remembering some of the secrets here. that jump. Are you guys talking about the, the old DK TV show? I've never... I never really watched too much of it, honestly. Now, here's the thing. I'm not a big fan of swimming levels, but if I do remember, the swimming levels in Donkey Kong Country were actually really cool. And they look really good. I think this was one of the few swimming levels I actually kind of enjoyed. I know I might be missing some secrets or something, but we're just playing the game, having some fun. I thought there was a secret over here where you can go... Oh, no, we lost our little buddy. Come back here. No! There we go. Get your revenge. Up here. You can go through one of these walls. I can't remember where it's at. Oh, 
Oh, we're missing the... Oh. Crap. We were doing so good, too. Do I think Nintendo's ever going to make another TV show? I, I doubt it. Um, I... I hope so. I I want uh like another Nintendo show or I you know what I want for the longest time I've been wanting um like a, a Zelda movie like Ocarina of Time Zelda movie. There's been some like gameplay like fan trailers that people would make, but I want to see like Nintendo actually you know can I not get up there that way? I want to get up there. I'm not happy right now. I wanted to get up there. Looks like I missed my opportunity. Whatever. There's a snow level in the snow world where you gotta like time the cannons like the barrels so perfectly it's like so hard that was a waste I thought I barrel rolled into him. Oh, really? Really? You gotta be kidding me. Did the same thing, same thing as last time. Oh, really? could jump as you're rolling. I guess not. I guess not. What will be the re best remake for a Nintendo game? For me, it would be Super Mario Sunshine. That and Scopper's already run. Rest in peace. I know that. Guys, is there another game you want to play? I'm just sitting here playing Donkey Kong Country. Or Donkey Kong Country. Is there another game? We got 21 games on here. Is there another game you guys would like to see? Keeping the platform moving with the fuel hard. I can only maybe stream for another 10 or 20 minutes. But uh, definitely, if there's a game you guys are interested in, especially if you haven't, Contra 3 is a classic. Are you going to go on Discord or nah? Navigate, please, and we can see them all. I could do that, too. It's up to you. We can go on Discord, and we can all talk on Discord, if you guys would rather do that and talk about games. It's up to you guys. Or we can play um, some more games. What do you guys want to do? we got like 10 or 20 minutes. So we got Punch-Out!, Here's the games. F-Zero, Final Fantasy 3, Kirby Superstar, um, Kirby's Dream Course, Mega Man X, Secret of Mana, Star Fox, Star Fox 2, Street Fighter 2, Super Castlevania, Super Goose and Ghost, Super Mario Kart, 
Super Mario RPG, Super Mario World, Super Metroid, Super Punch-Out. We've got a bunch of games here. Yeah, go on Discord. It will be fun. So we got one person wanting me to go on Discord. Anybody else want to talk on Discord? Street Fighter 2. We can talk about the SNES Classic. Well, is are all of you guys... David, are you part of my Discord? We can chat on Discord. If, if you guys would like to go on Discord, we can chat. What's Discord? Well, the link is in the description below. Um, you guys can go ahead and click on my uh, Discord. And um, we can... T I mean, that's all you do. Yeah, not a bad idea, but just wanted to know what was on here. No, you're not. Well, David, all you gotta do is click on it. And you can be part of the Discord. And you can actually voice chat... With me and a bunch of other YouTube, uh, me and a bunch of other people. So sorry, I just seen one of these yet. Oh, you haven't seen one of these yet. Right here, you go. You have not seen one. Okay. You don't gotta. It only takes a second, guys, to make a Discord. I didn't have one either. I just made one not long ago. We don't have to go on Discord. It looks like Skills is the only one that wants me to go on Discord. I just thought maybe you guys would want to chat. I have one nobody likes <laughs> likes me, though. You have one, but nobody likes you. I only got like 40 or so people on my Discord. Oh, this is quite cool. Maybe a bit of Ghouls and Ghosts or Kirby. Ghouls and Ghosts. Where's Ghouls and Ghosts at? Why not? There it is. I can't even tell you the last time I played this game. But while I'm playing this, if you guys want to go ahead and... The link is in the description below. You can actually join my Discord. If you don't know what that is, it's basically just a server where we can voice chat and stuff like that. And we can actually voice chat while I'm live streaming. And you can, you guys, your guys' voice will actually come over through the live stream as well. So it's like almost like I'm putting you guys on on um, the live stream, kind of. You will rage, so frustrating. Have you completed Ghouls and Ghosts? This is a legendary game to make. Yeah, yeah. I've played um, the original very hard. Um, I'm just gonna warn you now that I'm probably not gonna do very good. The game will break controllers. <laughs> you shouldn't have to make another account, Ugly Kid uh, Number One. You should not have to make another account. You can just join my Discord. You don't have to make another account. You can be on several Discords. So I'm trying to figure out what the controls do. Oh god. How do I uh get past this? Guys, how do I jump over the wall here? Oh, you can double jump. All right, I did not know you could double jump. Wait a minute. So inside the treasure chest was an enemy. Wow. So, there's... <laughs> yeah, this is hard.
Wow, this is... Wow, this is brutal. Will Joe come on again at some point? He's hysterical. I sure hope so. He lives about 45 minutes away, so... You know, he, it's not like he can just come out. You know, if he lived right down the road, he'd probably be on the show a, lo a lot. Hey, I thought I was on the platform. This is brutal. This is nuts, man. This is game over. Look at that. Game over. I didn't realize how hard... I mean, I knew it was going to be hard. But, like, it's really hard. It's like the, an old school arcade game where it's, like, built to steal your money. Kill that thing or what? Wow. Screw this. You guys see that professional dodge there? No! Oh, right on the stupid fireball. Come on. Come on, man. Yeah, I, I can see that this was an arcade game because this looks like a game that was just designed to steal little kids' money. Like, oh, you having fun? Yeah, let me eat your money. Let me eat your quarter. Doing a little bit better. Oh man, the frame rates like when there's a lot of going on the screen, the frame rates really like slow. That's unfortunate. Like the frame rate, like when there's a lot of enemies on the screen, the frame rate drops. Really gets kind of laggy. Not on the stream, it's like laggy in the game. N Nintendo K was right, we're kind of spoiled now. Okay, I just noticed if we're in that cave, those zombies can't get us. Okay. It's the game. Okay, what's up, Chandler? Welcome back. Well, that's pretty much it for uh, <laughs> Super Ghouls and Ghosts. It's extremely hard. It's extremely hard. It's an emulator issue, not original issue, like the Sega emulator. Oh, okay, okay. Contra 3. You guys are wanting to see some Contra 3. There's Contra 3, the Alien Wars. This and Dark Souls really get the wind. <laughs> Kirby. Well, someone said Contra 3. It's been a while since I played Contra 3. Might be my last game I play. I don't know. I've been going on almost two hours now of live streaming. I'm not... I'm not fused, really. Just enjoying the stream. Alright, cool. I do want to check something real quick, though. Hold up. I need to see, since I got some people uh, in the live stream right now, I want to see if this is actually working. Guys, do me a favor and let me know if you're actually seeing um, 
a message pop up. I'm going to test the super chat. I'm testing this out right now. Did you guys see that? This or is, is it just on my end? Did you guys see that or no? Press right down. Wait a minute. Press, press right down. Down right. Yep, we see it. Saw it. Okay, it works. Okay, good. It works. I just set that up not that long ago. That little jar down there on the left. I, so, wait a minute. Press down. Press right down. Down right start. Right down. Down right. Right down. Down right. You're having a Van Muir 20 marathon. It's at the menu screen. Too late now. Okay. Well, I'm at the menu screen right now. Or is it too late now? Uh, whatever. Let's just play. Well, thank you, William. Will I re-upload? I don't know. If you guys don't know, Nintendo's kind of like... Is um funny about their uh, uploads right now. About um, live streaming. I guess I could upload it. It doesn't matter. Like I said, I don't make any money off it anyways. All my live streams, and if I re-upload it, it, what makes me mad, and I know this is going to sound bad, but the reason why I don't like to upload some of my uh, Nintendo live streams is because... Oh, they just keep coming. Like, Nintendo... Like it just makes me mad that they uh they want a hundred percent of the of the money. Like I'm taking time out of my day. Wow, this is rough. And like I feel like I'll stream live, but why upload it? Is that wrong? <laughs> is that bad? I'm not all about the money. It's just I'm kind of salty right now because Nintendo just changed the way their whole uh, Nintendo Creator program. Um, kind of frustrating. Wow, this is this is hard. Holy crap. Wow. Really? Is it like an endless supply of enemies on the left? Did you guys see that? It's like an endless supply. Yeah, I understand that. Why you wanted the cheat. Okay, so what's the cheat? Let's try the cheat. Nintendo uh, do love hating on YouTube. I understand. So what's the cheat? I want to try this cheat out. So I want to type in that code again. Isn't it up, down, left, right, A, B, select, start? Is that not it? Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. That was the original one. Ah, screw it. What else do we want to play, guys? That kind of makes my brain hurt. That's a lot. Right down, down, right. Right. Right down, down. Right. Right. Right down, down. Right, right. Right down, down. Let's try it. I just want to try it. Screw it. Let's try it. Well, I did it. I don't know if it did anything. Well, I didn't want to go to two players. I did it on both the title screen and the other one. But, uh, yeah, we obviously did something. Uh, we're on two players. We don't want that. Screw it. I'm not even going to mess with it. Kirby game not bothered which one. I, I see that. I see I didn't do it right. I typed in the code right, though. Obviously doing something wrong. Kind of getting sick of playing, though. 
didn't do it right. I understand, Randy. I understand. Oh, man. Well, guys, I might be ending the stream here very soon. I'm getting kind of tired. I've got to actually... Well, I actually got to get up to turn this off. Hold up. Hold up, guys. I'll be right back. All right, I turned off the I turned off the the game. That way it's just me. All right, well, I'm going to hang around for maybe 10 minutes and talk to you guys. If you guys got any questions or you want to talk about anything, we can talk right now. I do got about 10 more minutes. I said I was going to stream for 2 hours and we're coming up on 2 hours in about 8 or 10 minutes. Discord, I can go on a Discord. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Why not? Let me open up Discord. If anybody wants to talk, um, go ahead and log on to my Discord and um, go to my live streaming chat. We can go to there. I'm loading up Discord right now. Let me go to my room here. Um, I think I'm in my live room chat. Yes. I'm, oh, I got to turn my mic on mute. Okay, what's up, guys? I have one question. What's going on, man? What made you think Nintendo would ban live streams, but only... But what made you think that Nintendo would ban live streams based on the latest video I saw of you? Well, they're not banning it entirely, but if you are a Nintendo content... um, If you're part of the Nintendo Creator Program, right now they are making it to where you can no longer live stream. So if you... What you need to do is you need to actually get away from that program. My channel... Um, it only applies to people that are part of the Nintendo Creator Program. I'm not part of that program. I am. Um, I submit my videos individually, so that's why it doesn't really affect me. What it does affect is I used to um, submit these videos to, like this live stream I just did. I would submit this to Nintendo, and then they would approve it, and then Nintendo would get 40%. Um, I would get 60% of the ad revenue. But now that's not going to happen anymore because they don't support live streaming. So nothing's changing with my um, YouTube. The only thing that's changing is when I do live streams, I make zero dollars. I make nothing. Like this is all for fun. And that's what I do it for anyway. So uh, like I said, it doesn't affect me. But people that are trying to do this full time and do this for like a living, it's really, really going to put a damper on the Nintendo community as far as live streaming goes. Okay, then that answers my question. I just, I, I liked the stream. I liked how you played the games, yes. But I just gave up after I realized I could catch a Nintendo, uh, Super Nintendo Entertainment, Entertainment Classic because those things are going to be hard to find for right now at this time. Well, you're in luck because Nintendo, so, so here, let me give you an example. Um, The NES Classic Edition, when that thing first came out, okay, over there to my, uh, this right there you can see it in my background right there the nes classic edition when that came out um it was literally i couldn't find it anywhere um i got lucky i called toys r us i just got a shipment in i ran out there and i got like one of the last ones so i got really lucky to get that and my local walmart when the nes classic edition was first released they got five they only got five and now the snes classic edition i went to my local walmart they actually got like 22 so they got like four times more than they did for the nes so nintendo is correct they did up the production a little bit um i've heard some game stops were getting like 50 which is a lot um back when the nes classic edition was out they were only getting like 10 or so so all i can say is keep calling your local stores and you should be able to get one because nintendo is going to like increase because they know it's a big demand right now so they are going to increase the you know the production on it Hopefully they won't pull, like, discontinue the system after a while like they did with the NES Classic, which was kind of a bad idea. Yeah, they're not, they're, they're going to they're gonna keep, they're going to keep it going for about a year. Um, they said that they're going to keep it going into next year, and they're even bringing the NES Classic Edition back. I but I know that, that because... Oh, it's fine. I noticed scalpers are going to be in on the action as soon as right now, is what I think I can figure out. Well, yeah, you're never going to be able to stop that, but, you know, that's that's uh, that's just the way it is. It looks like um, JRPG Gaming is uh, part of the Discord now. If you're still watching, David, what you got to do to actually join this 
If you go on the on the left side, you'll see like the voice channels. You'll see one that says live stream chat. You gotta like click on there, and then like that's the chat room, and then you can actually um, chat with us. It looks like uh, JRPG Gaming um, actually made um, a Discord. So nice to have you here, man. Yeah, I just checked eBay, and like there's one listing that's for one hundred and thirty-three pounds and nine pence. Can you translate that to U.S. currency skills? Yeah, yeah, one second. Oh yeah, skills is from the U.K. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know like the pounds versus the dollar either. So according to Google, that would be a hundred eighty U.S. dollars. Yikes! Yeah, so they're charging a hundred. Right. So they're basically charging a hundred dollars more. Um, then that's crazy. That's nuts. Unfortunately, that's what that is. So Van, um, the pounds in the U.S. currency are two different things. They're just different countries, different currencies. Another thing I also noticed is. The ones that I would buy look a lot different compared to ones. They seem to be a different design. But they're region free, though. I know that. Yeah, it's just um, in the UK. It seems that like. I, the... I I think the SNES Classic Edition is already being hacked. You know how like the NES Classic Edition, you can add actually add like, um, you can add like any games you want you can pretty much put any like all the nintendo games on the nes classic edition if you had like this hat cheek um hack um they're already i think can do it now for the snes classic edition matter of fact they can take the rom from the snes classic edition of Star Fox 2 that was never been released and now people can just download the rom or whatever right off the internet they don't even have to buy the stupid thing so i'm, I'm sure nintendo's not happy about that but to me there's really nothing like playing it on the original device and on original controller but people have hacked the NES, but I'm like, people shouldn't do that because it's just a system you play. Don't modify it. Yeah, I know, Randy. That's what I'm talking about, Randy. That That's that's what they call it. They dumped Star Fox 2. Randy in the chat was uh, saying that they already dumped it, which means they took it off the SNES Classic Edition and they kind of like, you know, put it on the internet for people to download. And it looks like Randy already downloaded that. And yes, they are both hacked. According to Sony, um, <laughs> yeah, I see that, Sony. Yeah, so... Yeah, I was reading up on that today. Um, I thought about doing it to my NES Classic Edition, but then I decided not to because I didn't want to mess with it. I didn't want to. And it's really easy to do. All you got to do is plug it in using a micro USB onto your computer. And it's really simple. You just run this software. It's really easy to do. And I could have done it, but I decided not to. Against my better judgment, I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to do it because I want to keep everything original. I'd rather get myself an NES and SNES and just play it like it's intended, never do anything to it. Yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. I just posted something in general. You can see how the U.S. version looks slightly different to the Europe, European version. I didn't like understand that at first, and then I find out. Yes, I see the differences design. of them. I tell you what, the contr the controller is exactly like a Super Nintendo controller, but it feels like a little bit sandpapery. It's not really smooth. It doesn't have like a real smooth finish, like the the you know regular super nintendo controller but if you guys saw my video of me unboxing this i did do a comparison to like the original super nintendo controller and it's pretty much exactly the same just it's not as smooth it's weird i don't know how to, the texture is a little bit different what i've noticed about the super nintendo the european version is that the buttons are colorful the u.s version has has purple and blue buttons but the buttons on the controller in the European version resemble those of the Super Mario Brothers Wii disc. The colors of the buttons on the European controller. Yeah, because that's like the fam the Super Famicom colors, um, which I actually like better. So, if I had a choice between like ours, like with the, the 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 blue and purple buttons or whatever, I'd rather have the more colorful, like the red, and I, I'd rather have the more colorful buttons. I don't really care for the blue and purple buttons. So I, I would get up... myself the European version and play with it because the button the color buttons are nice, but um, apparently I'd rather just play with the European version than the U.S. model. Yeah, so do you have one yet, William, or no? Apparently not. I tried checking pre-orders beforehand, and they were all booked, but I'm not able to get to those systems at this time. Yeah, I didn't have a pre-order, and I didn't um, I didn't even go to the midnight relaunch. Um, my wife and my daughter stood in line for me, so I was pretty lucky there. I saw your video and I was like, everyone else around my area has probably done the same thing, but I kind of don't know a whole lot of people in my area much to talk to or kind of anything about it at this time. So there you go. 
YouTube. But I do congratulate Van for getting one, though, for his wife and his daughter working on one, but I just, wow, I'm stunned. Yeah, it's uh, definitely not as bad as the NES Classic Edition. If you guys don't remember that whole fiasco there, um, I know a lot of people that were a lot more successful getting the SNES Classic Edition than they were the NES Classic Edition. The, I yeah, have a store. It's fine. I have a store called Second and Charles in my area that sells the, it sold two NES Classics, and someone brought those two systems up instantly, and that got gone quick. It's like a GameStop with books, music, electronics, and other things. Yeah. So Randy and Real, uh, Real Mystic, if you guys want to join in on the voice conversation, same goes for you, Sony. Um, you can click my Discord in the um, description and join my Discord, and we are chatting in the live stream section in the voice chat. So just letting you guys, I don't know if you guys are aware of how Discord works. I'm new to it myself. I just made this not that long ago. Um, but yeah, uh, Skills, you were trying to say something. Um, what were you trying to say? I don't know, I was just saying I was really hoping I could pick one up, but I think everything in my area, like all of the shops in my area don't have them. They're all sold out. Yeah, just it's be patient, time. guys. Do not, do not, I repeat, do not give in to the scalpers and do not, like, please, do just do not try to pay, like, those crazy prices because it's just, it's not worth it because Nintendo will stock them, so. I really just like... wait it out until, this, until things settle down because I'm not going to pay a scalper. I'm not going to try that. No, don't do that. Nintendo don't want you to do that. They actually released a statement saying, do not, you know, pay more than retail price for an SNES Classic Edition because they will be making more. They're actually going to make them into next year and they're bringing back the NES Classic Edition as well. So definitely don't pay more than <laughs> the intended price because you're just feeding the scalpers. And, it, you know, that's the reason why, they, see, if people didn't pay those prices, scalpers would be out of business. Like if people just refused to pay uh, those prices, there wouldn't be a problem because then the scalpers would be stuck buying all these systems that they can't get rid of. And I would yeah, be like, just... my response is, oh no. Um, I know that the scalpers are probably going to jump on the NES Classic, but I wish Nintendo could crack down on eBay or somehow fight this problem. Yeah, it's just, that's the problem. When you have like an open website like that where you can sell whatever you want and pretty much make up any price you want, it's kind of hard to stop because you, it's your item, you own it, and you can pretty much demand any price you want for it. So you are right, though. I wish there was a system in play to where, you know, it could stop that. But, uh, you know, what I don't understand is if Nintendo can stop me from live streaming and making money off games, why can't they stop people from selling their product at, like, quadruple the price? Like, I don't understand that. Like, if Nintendo has that much power where they can stop me from, you know getting any type of ad revenue from their live stream, from my live streams of streaming their content. How are people allowed to buy their content and then charge quadruple the price? You know what I mean? That you're, they should be able to do something about it. I well, there, consider... oh, there is a simple uh, solution to that problem. And Tony needs to make more than five systems. <laughs> oh, welcome to the stream, buddy. So who are we talking to? Who's this guy? It's Randy. Oh, welcome. Welcome, Randy. Yeah, if, if, there, if there's enough systems in demand, you know, they were making them to keep up with demand, scalpers would naturally go out of business, but they don't. They, they hate money for some reason. Yeah, I don't get it at all. I don't know why Nintendo refuses to, like, like, like if I own, if I was a guy running Nintendo, I'd be like, okay, everyone wants an SNES Classic Edition. Scalpers are going to buy these things up like crazy. So let's put, like, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of these units out there and flood the market that way, like, the scalpers buy them all up, and then they can't resell them because everyone's already got one. That would block the scam or block the scalpers, but I consider selling systems like that, like the NES and SNES, for high prices. I consider that, like, piracy because, basically, they're trying to charge people more than an arm and a leg to get one. But I find that a little bit of a pirating type thing with the scalpers. So I don't like scalpers. Uh, this is more free market pricing than it is anything else. Yeah, it looks like a J a JRPG Gaming is in the the room now, but his mic is muted. So David, if you do want to talk, you have to like unmute your mic. It's on the bottom left hand corner by your name. You should see like a little microphone. You can like click it and it will unmute your mic. There you go. It looks okay. like there you go, man. You're good okay. to go. Is it working? Yep, we hear you. There's still scalpers like 
doing stuff for the NES Classic at really high prices for them. But Can I chime in real quick? Been sold. Go for it, man. I saw a SNES or NES Classic. I think I've seen someone like Walmart for five hundred dollars, but uh, I just. I mean, it's a little, it's just outrageous that, that people like to do these things, even though you can't stop them. That's but... from a third party seller, not Walmart directly. Oops. And and what it is, is basically, Silver's put those insane prices on there because people are willing to pay them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what, David? Since, David, you're here, right? Mm hmm. Okay, David, since I got you on here, um, this something really crazy. I have like one of my best friends. His name is Robin, right? And he works at a video game store. And he's almost positive because I was talking. We were talking about games one night, and I and I brought you up. And he said, "It sounds like he knows who you are, and you come into his game store because he lives in Pearl, Mississippi." And he said something like, "And I know you live in Mississippi somewhere." And he was he th he thinks uh, it's called the the exchange with an X. Have you ever been into oh. the exchange? In game exchange. Game yes, exchange. I have. Yeah. yeah. So he says you go in there at least once a week, and he thinks it's you. Um. So I'm curious. So like, you need next time you go in there, you should ask the guy working at the counter. Say, hey, is your name Robin? Because okay, <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, you definitely need to do that. Say, hey, are you Robin? So does that sound right? Do you go to the game exchange uh, in Mississippi a lot? Uh, yeah, every uh, once in a while, yes. Yeah, so you should definitely go in there and be like, hey, um, I'm looking for Robin. <laughs> By the way, Van and everyone else, there was a store called Play and Trade in, in nearby where I live, and it offered retro games too. But that store was around like in 2010 or 2011, and it, and it went away afterwards. All right, so it looks like my wife just gave me a package. Um, we, are, you, we are live right now. Um, I'm going to open this up. Screw it. I'm gonna open it up. Uh, I, didn't send, I didn't send anything else. It's not me. Yeah, it's not David. So this is not from David. So we have a package here. Um, I'm gonna open this up. Let's see what we got. We used to have a disc replay here, but they closed down too. I just found out something. There's an even worse one. There's a scalper trying to sell one for three hundred and thirty-three U.S. dollars. See, it's just people dumb enough to pay those prices. If people don't yeah, buy them, they'll have 2 million units they can't move, and they'll naturally bring the price down. No, but people pay those exorbitant prices. I would oh. rather pay $80 for one, or $80 at least, not more than that. Okay, I know what this there's, is. There's 65 people, like, on that, you know, like, buy that. I think, I think it's a bidding thing, I'm not sure. It... Alright, guys, I know what this is. A company contacted me, and, um... You can plug this USB. I don't know if you're watching the stream still, but right here, you can plug this USB, right? Plug this right into your Nintendo Switch dock. And like this receiver right here will actually um, let you use uh, Wii U Pro controllers, uh, PS4 controllers. You can use any, any controller from any other game system and sync it to your Nintendo Switch. So... You know how like the pro controllers cost like eighty dollars and like nobody wants to spend that kind of money. Well, you, you can use your Wii U Pro controller, buy this thing, plug this into your Nintendo Switch, and this little dongle here will like sync up to your Wii U Pro controller. So I can't wait to check that out. I'll definitely be making a video testing this bad boy out. So let's see if it works good or not. That was something I was looking for. Cause... Since you brought up Nintendo, do you think they're too stingy with their prices? I sent you an email a while back. Do you think of Wii U games that are still? 50 60 bucks here do you think they all should be 30 dollars? since obviously nintendo's not going to make any new uh wii u games yeah N nintendo is notorious for um keeping their game values really high um it, now, now it's now on a, on the other hand it's good for like if you want to resell any of your old games it's better wait a minute what happened i got another package hold on what oh give me that's live on <laughs> no 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, uh, my wife got this in the mail. No, there one. Uh, I Pikachu. What is that? Like a, a trick or treating Pikachu? He's got like a little outfit on. She's like super excited. Like, how much you pay for this stupid thing? <laughs> huh? You have a problem. Too much, probably. <laughs> Seventeen dollars. She she paid seventeen bucks for it. 
That's, not That's too reasonable. Bad, I guess. Reasonable. Again. Uh, Van. What's going on, man? You and your wife are both entertaining and comically hilarious. <laughs> oh well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I just have a quick question on how Nintendo are like restricting live streams if you're in the creators program. Does it actually stop you from doing live streams or see now now that I, I'm not part part of the program, like my channel is not like see, I have an account and when I log on to the account, they're always ask like, you know, you can make my whole channel part of the Nintendo pre creators program. And at first I was like, Oh, maybe that's a good idea, but then I I, I stopped myself because I'm like, wait a minute, I don't think it's a good idea to give Nintendo control, like, you know, be like, that means every video I upload, regardless, like, I could make a video right now of just me talking like this, and if I'm, if my channel is actually part of the Nintendo Creator Program, regardless, even though I have no Nintendo content in my video, I know I got some stuff in the background, but you're allowed to have that, you're allowed to have that kind of stuff, but, like, I have no gameplay, no uh, Nintendo music, anything like that, they'll still claim, uh, you know, 60 per, or 40% of my ad revenue, even though it has no Nintendo stuff in it at all. So if you actually make your channel a, you know, the whole channel part of the program, you're pretty much screwing yourself because if you make any other videos like vlogs, anything that has nothing to do with Nintendo, you literally, literally um, are basically giving revenue to Nintendo for no reason. So that's why if you do what I do and you just submit single videos, um, then, you know, you can kind of pick and choose what, videos they have access to but you know like so i can't really tell for sure um from what i'm reading if your whole channel is actually part of that program they actually have from what i'm reading the power to actually shut the live stream down you know because they don't want to yeah, monetize so it a, there is a setting in youtube where like it, it says you can live stream maybe they can like turn that off but if you're in it you know what i mean like I don't think that's a setting that's there. I think Nintendo has to go through YouTube to do that. I don't know. I, I mean, like, yeah, they'll have to go through YouTube and ask, like, but live streaming, and it's in the, like, the creator's studio part of YouTube. Um, You can live stream, it says for me, but maybe they can make that disabled so you can't live stream. Yeah, I have, sure. I, I have, I have no idea. Like I said, I'm not part of the program. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm technically part of the program. I just don't give them access to my whole channel. Like, like right now, like before I would re-upload this and like this, this whole stream, we've been streaming for over two hours now. I would re, I would just, you know, go ahead and re-upload this. And then I would just submit this upload to Nintendo and then they would get, you know, 60% or they'd get 40%. I'd get 60%. Well, now that they're kind of against live streaming, I don't think they'll even accept the video. Like, cause it's going to get, so like right now I can probably up, I can re-upload this. And um, literally, it's just gonna get you know flagged by Nintendo. They're gonna claim it. They're gonna claim 100% of the ad revenue. I'll get nothing from it. But at least people that didn't get to watch the stream can still watch it. So I might re-upload. I don't really know how this stream went. I don't know if it was. Did the stream look good, guys? Did it come out okay? I don't, should I re-upload this or not? It came out good when I was actually tuning in, and it came out perfect. It's just typical Nintendo of Japan. Five step backwards every time. <laughs> yeah, it's a joke, man. Nintendo, it's a great company, but they're basically trying to do things the the way that they want to see fit. But Super Mario Run's not a problem. Yeah, um, so there's a difference between Nintendo of Japan and Nintendo of America. It's a Japanese company that's basically giving all YouTube people a hard time. So it does seem that if you're in the Nintendo Creators program, you can't even live stream at all, according to a couple of different news things. But uh, how is it that Nintendo Japan trying to tell people what to do in America when it's all the way across, halfway across the world? <laughs> That's YouTube for you. Well, only YouTube cares about protecting their big YouTubers. To tell us, if you're a little guy to YouTube, you're nothing. I almost considered yeah. quitting YouTube once, but I was like, nah, just all I care about is like chatting with my buddies. That's all I care about. Yeah, that's all that's all I use YouTube for. Like, yeah, I'm growing and I'm getting subscribers, you know. I like here's the thing. I've actually, you know, this is exciting for me. I've almost doubled in subscribers within a year's time, which is the most growth I've ever had on YouTube. But I obviously I do this just to have a community to talk to. And to have fun and play games, talk about games. I never ever 
I could care less about like this whole Nintendo saying, "Oh, we're not going to like let you make money off our live streams anymore." It, it just I don't care because I'm I don't care about the money, but it's just kind of like it's almost like Nintendo, you know, giving you the middle finger basically. Like they're basically like slapping you in the face, which is kind of disrespectful. Like I I just I don't know. I don't agree with it. I just don't understand why they have all these restrictions put in place, you know, like a and lot I, of the other companies aren't doing this type of stuff. And, and I just noticed this dongle I got, I don't know how well you guys can see, but there's three options on this thing. There's like, let the camera focus. Come on, camera focus. There it is. There's like an NS for Nintendo Switch. In the middle, it's PC, and then there's a PS3. So it looks like this thing is compatible with Nintendo Switch on your computer and the PlayStation 3. So that's that's interesting. So if you play if you're a gamer and you play games on your computer, it looks like you can play like use your Nintendo Switch Pro controller or your Wii U Pro controller right on your computer too. So that's that's interesting. Van, I got a question. It switches. Here. That little dongle what it does is switches uh, between drivers. So like PC would be X input, whatnot. Uh, do you have one of these or no? I mean, they all do the same thing. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. My question to Van, or my question to Van directly is, is um, why? So basically, he, you, you like Nintendo games, yes, but I was forgot what I was gonna say. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> William, William, how are you gonna have a build up like that and then be like? You know what? I forgot what I was going to say. Never mind. <laughs> I was thinking of something related to this subject, but I, I just went out of my head under two seconds. Oops. Uh, is it the creators program or something else? It somehow ties into the the creators program and other issues with Nintendo because Nintendo is so, like, I could say they're, tight, they're so restrictive. But I made videos of Super Mario Sunshine in the past and I never got flagged for. I only got a content ID warning. Yeah, see, here's the, here's the thing. The content ID match, all that is doing is saying, see, people are getting it confused. People will think that, like, like when they get, like, because YouTube, they'll email you and they'll send you a notification. And it looks scary. It's like, oh, a, a content ID has been matched on your, you know, a third party uh, has matched your, uh, you know, or someone claimed your video. A lot of people automatically are like, oh, man, I just got a copyright strike. No, it's completely different. All that is doing is basically saying somebody... Um, the, the little automated algorithm, you know, they scan your video and if it matches music or, uh, you know, audio or visual or anything like that, it just automatically gets claimed by that company. And all it means is it's fine. Your account's still in good standing. It's just all the money, all the ad revenue that is getting made from that video is going towards um, whoever own, whoever content ID claimed that. So sometimes I've had it in a couple videos where they'll actually split the revenue with you. So sometimes they'll do revenue sharing where they'll get a percentage and you get a percentage. But yeah, a lot of people get that confused. Like they get a content ID match and they think that like, oh, I got a copyright strike when indeed they did not get a copyright strike. It's just, it's completely different. But this, is, this is what bugs me is like, say you have a collage of like you're playing Nintendo stuff, right? And you have just a little snippet of Mario in there. You know, Nintendo claims that if, even though there's like different Nintendo games. If that yeah, I know. Sense. Yeah, I, yeah. I they'll they'll claim the whole video. That. They'll claim the that, that's what that's what I'm saying. So you got to be really careful. So it, you can make like a two hour long video, like it could be really great, real original. It could be your own work, and you could have like a two minute clip or not even two minutes, like a one minute little clip of like Mario and like have some like Nintendo audio. They'll claim the entire video, even though that whole two hour long video only has like 30 seconds or one minute of Nintendo content in it, Nintendo flags it. Matter of fact, a good example is my cousin, when we went to New York, if you guys remember when we went to New York City, I went to the Nintendo World Store there, did a vlog. I was really careful to make sure like the Nintendo music wasn't in my video. Well, he was just vlogging like inside the store and they were playing Zelda music and they were playing all kinds of like Nintendo music in the store. And boom, he uploaded it to YouTube. It was like a almost an hour long vlog of our whole trip. And guess what? Nintendo claimed that video, got all the ad revenue. He was upset about it, but I told him, hey, man, you got to be careful when you're editing. You got to take that stuff out. Or when you're filming, you got to make sure you don't. Get... It just really sucks that you got to, like, worry about that stuff. This is why making videos is not fun anymore. Yep. I saw a con content ID match before, and I, at first, I did think it was a corporate strike. So, like, oh, bye, I've, had, 
I have had fake content ID matches before by fake companies. <laughs> well, here's the thing, too. Here's the thing. You can just de- I've had I had um Nintendo claim one of my videos one time. It was me talking about um new Super Mario Brothers uh uh you, but you know it had like the Luigi where you can buy like the DLC and get the, like the Luigi pack. It was me talking about that. It's literally it was just me talking like this about a game and like it got flagged or like Nintendo claimed it. And like my thumbnail had like you know like I think like uh, uh Luigi like some type of Nintendo in the low like in the thumbnail, but they claimed the entire video and like I hardly ever um you know dispute a video cuz Nine times out of tens, I know, okay, yeah, they own it, whatever. I don't care. They can have the money. I don't care. I don't do this for the money. But that particular video, I remember being so pissed off about it. It didn't get that many views. It was just, like, the principle behind it. So I disputed the claim, and within, like, a week's time, I got an email from YouTube saying, sorry, we accidentally, like, for some reason, our system accidentally dis- um, claimed your video when it shouldn't have, and don't worry, it has now been released. Well, here's a problem too with the Nintendo Creator Program. Um, when you, you like, say I make a video right now, like right now I make a video, it has gameplay in it, and I want to submit it to the Nintendo Creator Program. Well, you submit it, and it takes up to 24 to 72 hours. Within 24 to 72 hours, that's where you get the majority of your views. Any really big YouTuber, when they post a video, it goes to what your subscription box. You get alerted. Some people got the bell notification turned on. You're gonna watch that video probably within the next few hours if you got some free time. So once you get your video submitted through the Nintendo creator program, pretty much all your views that you were going to get, I mean, you might get some afterwards, but pretty much within those 72 hours, all the views that you were going to get are pretty much gone. So you're not going to make anything from it. So the Nintendo creator program sucks (laughs) really bad. It's one of the reasons I left fucking, I deleted all my videos and said to hell with it. (laughs) Yeah, it's it's bad. It's bad, dude. By the way, Van, um, I have an example of content ID. Sega claimed my Sonic Adventure video I did on my YouTube channel, a video play of Sonic Adventure. Sega did the content ID claim, and I got away free of that. But um, I think I had a claim on some soundtrack of The Sims 3 by EA, and I also had a content ID claim. But for Sega, they just issued the claim and let it go. They just let it win. Yeah, see, some companies are different. Like, 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 here's the thing. I can play Zelda Breath of the Wild. Like, I can live stream right now. I could I could put Zelda Breath of the Wild in right now, live stream it, have a three-hour long uh, stream of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and I can monetize it, and it won't get flagged at all. Like, it won't get flagged. Nintendo won't claim it. And you know why? The main reason why it won't get flagged, one, I don't go full screen with my gameplay. Right when I when I go when I stream games, you guys know it's like this. I'm in the upper left hand corner. I got like the gameplay right there on the bottom. I got like the logo up top. I got the chat on the left, and so it's not full screen. So when YouTube scans the the you know scans the video, it doesn't match a visual ID because the the gameplay is not full screen. And the audio in Zelda Breath of the Wild, there's no music really. In Zelda Breath of the Wild, it's quiet. It's more scenic. There's no, like, there's more sound effects. Like, there's not really a big, it's not like Ocarina of Time where there was a big soundtrack. Like, that's one of my big complaints about Zelda Breath of the Wild is that there's not a big soundtrack to where, but for streaming purposes, you can stream Breath of the Wild and you don't get any content ID matches, which is good. I mean, you can make money off that. So just keep that in mind. If you guys want to live stream games, Zelda Breath of the Wild is kind of like a stream friendly game uh, as long as you don't go full screen with the visuals. I can see how full screen makes a difference, but um, I usually prefer The Sims for me because EA doesn't really care about you doing The Sims, even though I'm not doing it for money. I've done it before, but I never do it for money. I just do it just for the fun of it. Yeah, that's what that's what streaming should be about. You know, it's a shame that it's turned into like a business and like people like, oh, I'm not going to make money off this. Well, I'm not going to upload it or I'm not going to make money off this. I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to make this video. You know, a lot of people feel like now that they're entitled like, you know, YouTube back in the old school, YouTube had a spoiled, like YouTube was good, you know, years ago, like the ad revenue was good and stuff like that. And um, it's just my luck that I'm just now starting to grow, but it's in a time of YouTube where YouTube sucks. <laughs> so it, I don't really see any benefit from it. Don't get me wrong. It's awesome to see subscribers and see it growing and be able to chat with like, like right now, like 
years ago, I couldn't start a live stream and probably chat with people and have people watching my live streams. I've been I've been streaming for over two and a, almost two and a half hours. I had people watch me play games. I was talking the whole time. Now we're talking in Discord and chatting about games. It's fun, you know. To me, it's that's that's why I do it. It's fun. I always wanted to interact with YouTubers too, but some YouTubers are a bit may not be as friendly as you are. Well, that's the thing. I I've been in some YouTubers live streams where I'd be in a little chat box trying to ask a question or whatever. And like, they just, ign I think they do it on purpose. Like, I think they ignore people on purpose. Um, uh, and I think they do it to try to get donations. I, I think like some people, and I'm not going to drop any names. Um, but there's some people I know personally that they won't like acknowledge the chat. Like, trust me, some of the, some of the big YouTubers, the chat's going so fast, it's almost impossible to read the, the chat anyways. But like a chat like this, like my chat, like right now it's died down because a lot of people have left. Most of the people that are watching right now are people that are actually talking to me right now. But earlier when we had like 20 or 30 so people watching me play, the chat was going, but not too fast. I could read them all. If you guys saw, I, I made an effort to try to read all the, the messages and stuff like that. So what some people do is they try to purposely ignore the chat and they wait for the donations be, and then they'll read those ones. And like, and it, what kills me is, They'll do like the fake like screen like freakouts too. Like somebody will donate twenty dollars, right? And they'll be like, "Oh my god, thank you so much!" And they like start freaking out. And they it's so sickening to me because they do that to try to like make a chain reaction to try to get more people to donate. And it's like that's what that's what this has turned into, really. Like it, it just kind of pisses me off in a way. Like I have it set up to where people can do a super chat and donate and I have it set up to where people can sponsor me if they want to, but I never, ever, ever, you will never, ever see me be like, Hey guys, thank you for watching uh, my, my live stream. Please guys. It, it could really help me out right now. If you go ahead and send me a super chat, every little bit helps. You'll never, ever see me say that in a live stream ever, <laughs> ever. I, I, I hate that. I've even seen YouTubers that have ignored some super chats yeah that's another thing some people will spend five dollars or so send a super chat and not even read the stupid message like the whole point of the super chat is to get your message to the top and to get the youtubers attention if someone spends five dollars on a super chat any amount of money two dollars it doesn't matter that's money they're giving to you for nothing just for you sitting in front of your computer playing a game trust me it takes work there was a lot that goes into this guys like i had to buy over a two thousand dollar computer to, because my other computer stunk i bought a gaming computer i had to buy a capture card i had to buy software i'm running there's a bunch of stuff that goes into it but give me a break anybody can do it it's not a job i feel get off your ass excuse my language get a job all right like maybe it, I, that's just the way i feel like this is fun to me i like to do it if donations come in, great. Thank you for the support. But you will never see me on here begging for donations. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever heard Van swear like that. This is my first time I've ever heard him rant like that. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I sometimes totally agree with you. sometimes yeah, I get emotional. I so Drones out of control. I totally agree with you, though. Like, like, just beg for, you know, that type of stuff. Like, honestly, just get a job. Yeah, it's annoying. Actually, Van, uh, Van, you or Van, you remind me of somebody, a CEO of a certain company. Well, here's the thing. I've always worked for the man. They call it the man. I've always worked for somebody else. I've always wanted to run my own business. But, I, you know, you need money for that. You need a good idea for that. And I don't got that kind of money. So that's why I kind of started YouTube, not as a business aspect, just because it was something I could control. Like, I have all the say. I can say whatever I want. Matter of fact, a couple companies just reached out to me recently through email trying to send me a product to like showcase on my YouTube channel and they wanted me to be positive about it. They wanted me to go on Amazon and give it a five-star review. And I told them, I said, I'm not going to have one of your products on my YouTube channel. Uh, uh, and then like, if I don't like it, I'm going to tell people I don't like it. You guys remember with the doc sock, that lady sent me the doc sock and um, that's something I actually paid for. And it didn't work. Like, she made it wrong. The seams were all messed up. I couldn't actually, it wouldn't work on my Nintendo Switch dock. She refused to make it right. And you guys saw I made a rant video about that. And then next thing you know, a different company contacted me, sent me a good one. And I see, 
I'm honest. Like on my YouTube channel, if I don't like something, I'm going to tell you I don't like it. If I get it like this product right now, I just got this, right? And I already told the company. They sent this to me. And um, I guess I have to do a firmware update because right now it won't work. I have to go onto their website and update this thing. So I'm going to update this thing. I'm going to put it in my Nintendo Switch. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to tell you guys it doesn't work. Like if it works good, like if it works and there's button lag and like it's kind of unplayable, I'm going to tell you guys it doesn't work. Like I'm not going to like try to appease companies and, and tell them what they want to hear just to try to make myself grow or get a sponsorship or something like that. That's not screw that, dude. I'm my own person. No one's ever going to tell me what to say. Mm -hmm. I think band isn't like being told what to say, but better yet, I notice some companies may lash out if you say bad things. I've noticed some might do that. Well, that's why I tell any company that sends me anything. I say I give an honest review. It's an honest review. I'm not going to sit here and talk up your company. Like, like I'll be honest, this thing right here, I'm going to update it. Right. And if I plug it in my Nintendo switch, I'm going to test it first before I even make a video. If it doesn't work at all, I'm not even going to make a video on it. I'm just going to email the company and say, hey, look, this thing doesn't work. Because I'm not going to bash the company. I'm not going to make a video just to, like, bash the company. Because I didn't pay for this. They sent this to me for free. So I'm not going to, like, you know, if I would have bought this and it didn't work, then that's a different story. Then maybe I'd make a rant video saying, hey, I paid for this. This crap doesn't work. Just to let you guys know, don't buy this. But since they sent this, they reached out to me. They sent this to me, um, you know, as a nice gesture. I'm going to try it if it works and if I think it's good and I recommend it, then maybe I'll make a video saying, hey, guys, check this out. It's really easy. It works. There's no button delay or lag. Maybe you guys want to check this out. So that that's that's just how I do things. Did you hear about uh, the person who used to work for IG and he gave the switch, I think it was like a seven and he got fired because of it, because he was being honest? Really? No, I did not hear about that. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to find the article and I'll send it to you. All right, yeah, cool. Yeah, that's the thing, man. Like, it, be honest, you know what I mean? Like, I, nowadays you got a lot of, like, YouTube's full of a lot of fake content. As you guys know, like, there's prank videos and all the videos are fake. Like, any, any prank video's fake. Like, you watch, like, these really, like, inspiring videos where people give, like, you know, hundreds of dollars to like a homeless man on the street just to make you feel all warm and fuzzy. Well, guess what? That homeless guy on the street's not even homeless. It's a paid actor. It's all fake. It's ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. I, um, I watch FouseyTube all the time and, uh, I like FouseyTube. He, uh, he actually came out and said all his videos were fake. Every prank video he's ever done is fake. Why do people make these fake videos to make money? It's you, they use YouTube as a business to make money so that <laughs> every video you see on YouTube is fake and it, it's kind of it's like reality TV you watch reality TV on TV you think it's a reality TV show guess what a lot of that stuff is fake as well it's not it's all it's all fake it's all fake drama for the TV to get more ratings and it's it's just sick it's the same with like, it's the same with like vlogs and stuff they make their life look perfect with yep every, every every vlog you see on YouTube is like hey guys look at me I'm sipping a Martinet, and I'm a, uh, I'm a uh, sitting here and uh, having my a glorious life, and look at me, I'm a, uh, I'm going to this, uh, I I'm going to like this theme park, and we're going here, and look at all this money I got, and look at this, dude, get, get the heck out of here, get the heck out of here with that, that crap. Well, you know where they get the money from for their little Patreons and their little donation scams. Yeah, and then like, and then like at the end of every video, it's like, guys, don't forget to like comment subscribe i do have a patreon if you guys want to donate to me on patreon also you can sponsor dude get the heck out of here and the ones that are just like oh yeah hey guys buy my merch get the heck out of here dude i had i had one t-shirt i had one t-shirt that i had made through a local shop that was up on a website for like i want to say not even a month it sold like 50 or 60 shirts guess how much money i made off that zero dollars zero dollars it was sold for what the shirt was like made for i made zero profit off of it well it's like i live in a, a class a motor home and it's like you see all these idiots in their vans and their rvs on here acting like they live such a great life yet they're diving in dumpsters because they're so damn broke <laughs> yeah well here's the thing and i understand like people experience bad things in life all day like people's life let's be honest sometimes people life you, you have you have a bad day at work you have a bad day you don't want to go home and watch somebody else have a 
bad. You want to see more. I understand people want to put positive videos out there on the internet and want to show like their better side. So when they go back and watch the memories, it's mostly good memories. But kind of, it's just, it gets sick. Like sometimes, especially to me, and I'm sure you guys feel the same way. If you're having a bad day, you're having financial problems, you're having you're having health problems, whatever, you're having a really bad day. And then you go on YouTube and you watch these vlogs and you're like, man, every day they post a video and it looks like it's the best day of their life. And it kind of makes you look, look at yourself like, am I doing something wrong here? Or are they like the luckiest? No, guess what, guys? It's fake. Okay. It's fake. They got struggles like everyone else. It's just, they only film like their whole day is crammed into 10 minutes and they'll take that 10 minutes and they'll just put all positive things in it. They'll actually make up positive stuff. And like, it's just, it, it's, it's, it's all, it's like, it's like I said. I, I know one scammer though that didn't want water home man. Uh, he fucking spends all his days at fucking Disney World and shit because suckers keep giving him money. <laughs> yeah. Watch the F-bombs though. I know we're just talking it, but I don't know if I'm going to upload this anyways. But yeah, yeah there goes your ad revenue. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> there goes your ad revenue right there. Well, here, here's the thing: I, I wouldn't get ad revenue anyways because we played Nintendo games on this stream. So uh, yeah, it's not going to be monetized. But uh, I just keep it family friendly. It's not like let's be honest: if someone actually watches this stream, we're like two hours and thirty-seven minutes in. No one is going to sit there for two hours and thirty-seven. They're not going to get this far in the stream anyways. Some people will just like watch up to like the part where. The game's end, and then we'll stop watching this bit. Yeah. I just picked a bit where I swore. I'm like, he swore! <laughs> Dennis Butler. two comments for you. Dennis Butler says, where is the Yeti? The Yeti's over there, Dennis. When I'm playing games and stuff, I do not um, I do not use the, the blue Yeti. I use my headset. Uh, guys, does the mic sound okay, or is it is it fuzzy? Does it sound clear? It's fine. Oh, I can't hear any fuzz in it. Right here. He, he's done playing Fernando. Yeah, Fernando, I'm not playing games right now. We played for about two hours. Um, I played the SNES Classic Edition. We had a lot of fun. Right now, we are just playing. Um, We're just talking. We're not playing anything yeah, I mean, right now. Yeah, but I got out of the dumpster fire called YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah, but Dennis, it's right here. I got it over here. My Blue Yeti's here. It's not hooked up. Uh, Van, I've noticed you've kind of upgraded your live streaming equipment a little bit by watching some of your videos from time to time. Say that again? I've been noticing you've been upgrading um, some things like your live streaming equipment or certain stuff. It's been kind of, it's kind of obvious that I catch on very quickly from time to time. Oh, yeah. Uh, hold on a second. So, say that one more time, man. I'm sorry. I've noticed you've done some upgrades to your streaming equipment from time to time and other things, but um, I also wanted to chime in that I, I'm sad to hear Nintendo is shutting off its virtual con or its virtual channel or its uh, Wii Shop in 2019 for the Nintendo Wii because I used to own a Wii, but I never really used its features much except play games. But I'm kind of sad to see that go. I well, think you got to understand the Wii's been around since '06, so it's about time, and they need to free up resources for the switch it's 10 years yeah it's about it's average. One, actually 12 it'll be it'll be 13 when it shuts down but it's not that big of a deal really if you the, the wii is so easy to modify yeah mm -hmm. yeah but you you want to you want to support the companies now while you can and give them uh money i don't i don't like relying on hacking too much well when the stuff's no longer available i mean yeah that's that's different but i'm talking i'm talking about now though I like the Wii, yes, but um, I didn't really like the Wii Shop channel now because they took away the internet channel for the Wii and all other things, like the, some of the Wii features now, because the Wii's just pretty much just continue the older model, but um, I would be sad to see the Wii U partially take a hit by it. The only reason I have a Wii is because, like, the only reason I still have my Wii is because I can play GameCube games on it. I will never touch a Nintendo games. Switch. I will never touch one of those. Really? Why right. is that? Pretty good. Yeah, why not? Just because the fact that I've seen some sporadic issues of the system having some problems, and I saw Van had a system malfunction and a crack in his system before. But I mean, I that's, just, I don't think I that's that. to be expected at launch. You're going to have bugs. Yeah, all I mean, of them, it, 
a lot of that has been fixed now, I think. Not... But the virtual console for the Switch isn't yet available, is it? Not yet. It's starting, but it's not going to go like full steam until 2018. I'm not sure. I rather, console because... I'd rather wait to get one then, or rather see a Nintendo Switch Mini, a low cost version of it, because there's no one who would want that. It's two ninety nine. That's how, how is it ever? How is it high cost? Uh, just, just dance, just dance, lover. We're just talking right now. Um, we were playing um super, uh, the Super NES Classic Edition for a couple hours, but right now we are just talking on Discord. If anybody wants to jump on Discord and and join in the conversation, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be on here because I've been like on here almost on three hours now. Um, the link is in the description below. Well, I mean, three hundred is reasonable for a hybrid. I really hope I mean, there's virtual cons. The Switch is perfect. It's just I'm kind of have mixed feelings because the Wii U, when I had one, the gamepad only worked a certain number of feet before it disconnects if you walk too far away. So yeah, but but they fixed that with the Switch, though. I I've heard having... some issues with that. But well, the, 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 the Switch, the, the, the Nintendo, the Nintendo Switch, it's its own console. There's no receiver, so you can take the Nintendo Switch anywhere, and it doesn't lose connection. The dock is just to put it on the TV. Well, I'd rather have the Switch than the Wii U, but um, I just the Switch. It's, I mean, it's a great system, but I kind of don't get why Nintendo picked Imagine Dragons Believer as a song for the system. I don't think that was kind of right. <laughs> well, they. <laughs> well, they did, I, I did hear I'm some issues the with the Joy Cons. Yeah, the Joy Cons. Yeah, that was that was a launch my, issue though. That's been that's been fixed. My left Joy Con still has those issues. I can't go that far away from my Nintendo Switch without it. So I'm uh, gonna be honest. I've been playing more handheld mode. Uh, I have a question for everyone. You have warranty. Yeah, no, I I did send in my right Joy Con because it broke. Uh, Van. What's up, man? What's going on? My question for all y'all is, do you think Nintendo picked appropriate song for Imagine Dragons Believer for the Switch commercial or not? <laughs> um, <laughs> gas stations now, and I'm so sick of it. The one thing I like about the Switch is it's simply not built for kids. It's such <laughs> That thing's easily broken. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I agree. Well, here's the thing. They made the screen plastic. That way it won't shatter if it gets it dropped. You know, a lot of people are complaining about the screen being plastic, but it's in case, like, you drop it, it won't shatter. On the game, we're joined the wrong... Uh, yeah, but you can see... Talk. But you can I see some um, six-year-old toss that Joy-Con across the room, and that thing's going to be in pieces. <laughs> I broke a oh, smartphone okay. screen once, and that wasn't fun, but I never broke a 3DS, but um, I've seen... All I know is that the Switch will, make, the Switch will become destruct, destroyed by kids if they get them into breaking it. That's a three hundred dollars system or two hundred two hundred nine hundred dollars system gone down the trash after all the oh, parents got it for them. Oops. Does it look the like that? To... Does it look like Nintendo Cade joined the Discord? Because it says Nintendo uh, Nintendo Cade has joined. The reason that I had to send my right Joy-Con is because, and this just sort of proves the point that it will be broken by kids really easily. So um, I switch on my bed and I, I sort of moved and it fell off. <laughs> I only see five people, Sean. Yeah, I was reading a message. I was reading a me like if you go like a, I don't know if, if I'm only the only one seeing it, but if you go back to like the general chat where uh, skills like put the picture up of the difference of the SNES or whatever, and I put yeah, it looks cool. Right below that, it says hello. Is it Nintendo Cave you're looking for? Question mark. What what is that all about? That's that just how Discord does that. I mean, he did join, but it seems like he's left. Oh, okay, okay. So he did join the Discord. Yeah, that definitely means he did join because every time somebody joins, it makes like a random message. Oh, okay. well, that's like. Well, that's what I mean. The thing I like about the Switch is it doesn't have that Nintendo built like a tank quality to it. It looks like it might. He might have just left after he joined because. But I mean, the Switch is doesn't have the Nintendo tank quality, but it had a, a 3DS that survived a lot of wear and tear. Well, the 3DS has a Nintendo it. tank quality to it. I have some, something that might prove that point. So I had my Switch on my bed, and it fell off the bed, and the right Joy-Con, the little bit that attaches it onto the Switch and keeps it on there, that broke off, like, a bit. So it would come off when I just pushed the Joy-Con, so I had to send it in and get it repaired. Oh, that sucks. I mean, you could probably take a 3DS and chuck the thing, and it probably wouldn't even hurt it. <laughs> oh, no, I've, I've, um, like... 
I was just going out somewhere and I just dropped the 3DS at my. But the Nintendo 2DS, it's not as good as a tank because it was a non-foldable unit, but they made a 2DS XL that folds. Nintendo well, should have made that foldable when he first The original rushed. 2DS was made for kids, though. The 2DS was made for, like, toddlers because they figured they would break the hinge. Toddlers and kids wouldn't, it wouldn't survive with a toddler or 2DS non-foldable and it wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that was. That was their whole point of it, though. Even though it really didn't work for them. Hey, hey guys. Hey, I don't mean to cut any of you guys off, but um, it's I gotta go. I gotta me and my wife, and my daughter. We gotta go get something to eat. But you guys can actually continue to chat in the Discord. That's what's nice about Discord. Uh, just because I gotta go, you guys can still chat amongst yourself if you guys want to. But I do gotta go. Um, thanks for everyone uh that did join the stream. I definitely do appreciate it. And like always, guys. You're welcome. <laughs> there'll be more to come shortly, guys. Thanks again. Oh, I was going. I was going to ask you a quick question, Sean, for you. What All are right. Your well, thoughts on not. What are your thoughts on not being able to save data to the physical media on your Switch card? Um, yeah, it's stupid. It's only for games only. You need to be able to do save files, but supposedly that's coming from what I read. But uh, I'm going to end the stream now. Um, I'll talk to you for a couple minutes after the stream. Let me go ahead and end the stream. Thanks, guys. If you guys are watching, thanks for joining us, and uh, there'll be more to come shortly, guys.